Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as we mentioned, heading to the Middle East. Once again, he's trying to prevent the war in Gaza from expanding into a wider regional conflict. On Thursday, Israel's defense minister detailing a new approach to the war in the north, which includes ground and air strikes, raids, breaking down tunnels. This has all been something that's been going on. But uh, Israel has confirmed three Israelis are listed as missing, now believed to be held inside of Gaza. This is a very tense a situation, but it's also a very close ground war. I mean, you think about the border between Lebanon and Israel and the settlements. I think it was 70,000 or 700,000 people had to be evacuated near that border. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people have moved. Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv this morning with the very latest from the ground. Robert? Yeah, it seems as though every day we enter a new reality. And you mentioned the prime operative word there, Adrian, phases. Well, that's the big conversation here on the ground with the Israeli defense minister saying that they're hoping to enter that next phase of the war with Hamas, which would be less intense on the ground fighting, allowing some of those reservist troops to head back home to their civilian lives, but still finding ways to keep the pressure on Hamas and pushing forward. And another big emphasis has been knocking out those tunnel systems that we've been talking about for weeks on end. Well, another one taken out last night. This one on the central coastline of Gaza, uh, where the Israelis said that they found a weapons manufacturing facility that was guarded by blast doors that were booby trapped. The IDF says that this lab was used to make long range weapons. So far, over 13,000 rockets have been fired at Israel since the start of this war. Meanwhile, you shift focus to the northern border with Lebanon. Tension is seemingly at its highest point since the war began. You walk around cities such as Kiryashmona. You'll see bombed out buildings, empty storefronts and streets. Most everyone there has fled or evacuated, as you pointed out, Adrian, with a lot of people there saying they're very worried about what's to come. It's empty. Nobody in my village. You know. All the people go out. We are here in the north, very afraid from uh, this uh, situation. If Hezbollah want to come inside to kill us, Throughout the week, we've seen a lot of sirens and alerts going off in northern Israel. This happening just a few minutes ago with the Israeli Air Force bombing parts of southern Lebanon, knocking out some of Hezbollah's positions. This feels like an everyday occurrence at this point. Something worth mentioning here is, is that the people in northern Israel, they're very used to tensions being high with Lebanon. This has been going on for decades. But even so, putting that context into the fold here, they say they're very nervous about what's going on and that all of this feels very different at this hour. Marky. All right, Robert Sherman live in Tel Aviv. Thank you for those updates there on the ground. For Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.